I've seen this clip, but it's a great clip. I'll watch it again. Sad that there's no muscly girls in here. Well, I mean, yeah, but, you know, sure, I like to joke around and talk about how, oh, I'm strong women all the time, but that's not the only girls I like. I like big girls, pretty kitty girls, really witty girls, singing ditty girls. I like the licky girls with the nice thighs. Yeah! That's a good chest, no matter what size. I like the belly folds, I like the six packs, really tall queens, and the short stacks. From the mild girls to the wild girls. You got style, girls, make them round, girls. I have a feeling he's straight, just saying. Don't wanna don't wanna assume somebody's sexuality or anything, but I have a sneaking suspicion that man does not like dick. Anyway, just saying, nice egg, bro. Welcome to Kiwawa Airlines, oh lord. Wow, a plane, Pog. Kikariki, <clears throat> everyone, and welcome on board to KFP 2300 on Bro, if I was on a plane and the captain said kikiri ki everyone, I would immediately bolt to the emergency exit. I'm just saying. Our flight to Hokkaido, Japan. Please listen to these safety instructions to not fucking die on my plane today. Bro, you see, this is good advice. This is good advice. Yo, I hate when someone will say, yo, Nux, you're flying? Have a safe flight. Bro, that is a lot of pressure to put on someone that has literally no power over the outcome, okay? I have no power, zero power at all over the outcome on if I'm going to die or not on the plane, okay? So say have a safe flight is putting so much undue pressure on me, okay, that it's just not even fair. It's not even fair. Why? Why would you put this pressure on me? I'm not flying the plane. Have a safe flight? How am I supposed to cause that in any way, bro? Oh, it's so cringe. See, good advice would be don't die. That's great advice. I have complete control on him, on my death or not, okay? Choke on a peanut, you die. I will not choke on a peanut. So you say, yo, Nux, I hear you're traveling. Don't die. Great advice. Great advice. Wonderful advice. Number one, please fasten your seatbelts whenever the seatbelt sign is on. Connect the metal wow. buckles and pull the strap tight. In order to not ram your table into your stomach, Stow it away for takeoff and landing. Just saying that is a cringe ass rule, okay? The table thing, that's mad cringe. There is no reason that I need to always close the tables for takeoff and landing. Ram it into my chest. I'm wearing a seatbelt. I'm ramming it. Oh. Put your bag under the seat in front of you and put your seat back into the original position. Yeah, why do I need to put my seat back in the original position? Okay, oh, oh, we're taking off. You need to put your seat back up four inches. It's not like it really leads down anyway, okay? Oh, I'm gonna recline the chair. Yeah, it, move the chair back a half an inch. Oh, dude, your chair, it's a half an inch back. You please put it to the... Oh, give me a break. God damn, why is this even a rule? For your handheld devices, I'm gonna stop bullshitting you here. No one cares what mode you switch it to, as it does not really Based. affect the plane. Based! You smoke any Based! Cigarettes in our plane, not even in the toilet. Can't you hold it back for a few hours? Come on. All exits on the airplane are marked, but I decide when you get off. Some doors may be... A little, a little scary, not gonna lie, but okay. Stuck. Does someone have some WD-40? In case of an emergency, <laughs> right off the emergency floaty boat. Yay! Jumpy jump. See, see that that also annoys the hell out of me. If we have a landing on water, the lifeboats turn into rafts, and the air pack. We're all dead, okay? If it lands on water, we're all freaking dead. I don't need to learn and cram. My brain has a finite amount of space, okay? I try to cram in enough for uh for to to function and to be a functional member of society, all right? I have to know enough dumb crap just to live my everyday life. I do not need to fill it with useless information like if we survive a water landing, okay? If the plane crashes in water, we're all dead. Oh, you did the red life boats in the rafts and you can freaking put it on your- Get, Please, that is just cringe. Help. It's not only for children, okay? It's for no one, okay? It's for no one, all right? It's for survivors. In other words, no one. Bro. If the airplane loses pressure, oxygen masks will drop from above. Put it on your face and now inhale deeply to sound like Darth Vader. Life vests are okay, on the seat. Okay, base, base. Or maybe not. We had to make some cuts this year. 
Life, life vests also. Okay, dude. All right, dude. Life vest. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 if we accidentally crash land in shark infested waters and you survive with all your limbs, bro, that life vest, oh baby, that is going to be extremely helpful. <laughs> After doing our final cabin check, we will take off and bring you to today's destination. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice flight. See, again, so much pressure on me. Have a nice flight. The goal is survival, okay? When I take off, the goal is surviving until landing. Have a nice flight? Well, I'll all... Dude, I don't know how much pressure you're supposed to put on me, okay? I want a flight with no casualties. The amount of pressure, the insolence of these flight people. That was a good video, though. Mrs. Incredibles real form. Not Alfred. Oh, frick, it's Alfred. I love about Alfred. How, like, the mom from Incredibles is the exact same character as Luffy from One Piece. Don't say that. I think the only reason Luffy doesn't have a thick ass is because of By his own choice. choice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's if go. Luffy wanted an ass, Let's he could go. absolutely get one. Look, okay, I have another question. So, you know, everyone thirsts over the mom from Incredibles. Does she even, like, look like that? You know? What? Is that her natural state or is yes. she changing her performance? Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Does she just like a last- Her natural state is a gelatinous mess, okay? It's all a natural state. What are you saying? Tisity it to to be, be thinner? thicker, maybe? Or and does that, really, does yeah, that I, matter though? This question has boggled my mind for an incredibly long time. But yeah. Get it incredibly long. Yeah, it's just, uh, I've always wondered, does she actually look like that or is she the greatest catfish of all time? I, I, it's not catfishing though. It's not catfishing, bro. I don't understand what you're saying. Bro, are you actually ripped or are, do you just look ripped? What does that even mean, dude? What does that mean? I've never thought about that actually. But have I ruined your day? Not really. Okay. I guess I could see it. I just don't, I don't know. I never think about movies like deep at all. I, as shocking as that is. I think about the worst things. I feel like when it that's what makes you a great youtuber bro comes to just media because I've lost a lot of sleep just thinking about what is the true form of Mrs. Incredible well at least someone did all right this was important and I'm glad someone devoted brain power to it I'm just saying Tomoe almost goes boom boom okay if you touch my wood I'm gonna I'm have to kill you imagine someone touching your wood oh couldn't be me thank you Oh my god, fuck you, fuck your shit. Nope, fuck the shit, I'm out. <laughs> I just wanted wood. I just wanted wood. It looked clear to me. I take. <laughs> All these VTubers after my wood. You talk to them for two minutes. At least buy me a drink first. God damn. Among Us is receiving a manga. Let's freaking go, dude. This is gonna be the next death note. I'm just saying. Banned German Ninja Turtles commercial. Oh god. Oh my god! Look at that chest, bro! Uh oh. It's coming. Did you know that Muda didn't know that pickles were cucumbers? <laughs> Quatre Sand Rock with the five gifted subs! Bro, every time I see pickles now, I think of how Muda didn't know that pickles were cucumbers. Dude, if you look at the ingredients of pickles, there's only one ingredient. It's just cucumber. Oh my god, La Mama Muda Dump, bro. The the reason why it's funny is because Muda is one of the smartest people I know. Muda is one of the smartest people I know, <laughs> and he didn't know that pickles were cucumber. <laughs> neither did Carson. Neither did Ch well Charlie knew, but only recently learned that. I can't, it's, it's unbelievable. It's hilarious. It's so funny. Oh my God. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.